Actually, our insurance. Yeah, we got apartment insurance finally. Oh, yeah. so, you not had it before? Or? No. No. <laughs> no. But we figured, you know, with all the DVDs, well, the DVDs and video games and, and Rosie and Rosie stuff and mm -hmm. the uh, you know all the video <coughs> and computer stuff and audio stuff that. Yeah, good idea to have. <laughs> yeah, I got it for my place out in Edmonton. Um, yeah. You know, and I figured I'd just start having it. It's cheap and that. It's 14 bucks a month. So I figured, why not, right? Yeah. yeah totally Ours is a little more. I think it's, is it 40 or something? What? A month? It's yeah. 20. Oh, it's 20. <laughs> it's pretty good, though. But I figure, you know, throughout all my YouTube videos, I have, like, you know, pretty much everything covered Documented, as yeah. far as evidence that I own these things. So, <laughs> mm. and those are all stored off site. So, if anything should happen here, then I have the evidence on YouTube that I can refer to that, uh, you know, can show the insurance people. Here, watch these 15 hours worth of videos on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I'll send you the link. That's right. <laughs> it was kind of annoying. I uh, got my insurance, I got it through AMA which is the Alberta version of BCAA. Are you downloading something on the PS3? No, I know. Oh. I just noticed the hard drive going periodically. Hmm. I don't know. <coughs> um, continue, something about but, BCAA. Yeah, and they told me it would transfer over to a storage unit. Um, oh, that's why, it's because burnout's on. Oh. Yeah, they told me it would uh, transfer to a storage unit, which I get when I come here. <coughs> And I figured, well, you know, I'd pay eight bucks a month for U-Haul's insurance. Yeah. And U-Haul's insurance is cash value. Uh, so something you bought for two hundred bucks, they'll give you like twenty for. Ouch. So that's why I figured, you know, go with AM or AMA because it's replacement cost. Yeah. So, totally. Yeah. Well, anyway. most the, most insurance policies mm -hmm. are replacement cost. Yeah. So that's why I figured the six buck a month difference more than covers that. Like when my place got robbed in Winnipeg. Um, I took cash for most of the settlement, but uh, replaced the laser disc player. Hmm. So the laser disc player that I had was already a couple years old. So the replacement cost, they basically gave me the equivalent value, hmm. but a current model at that price. Hmm. So <clears throat> laser disc players, I guess, had come down in price since I bought mine. So I was able to get one for the same cost that hmm. had more features. Mm -hmm which was pretty nice. So that actually worked out pretty good. That's actually the one that I still have today. Nice. And for the most part, it still functions. It's just certain discs it gets a little tetchy with, but, mm -hmm. you know, overall it's, it works pretty good. But yes, I phoned them to change the address, and I was on the phone with them for like 30 minutes, long distance as well. Oh, man. And okay. finally I find out they don't normally do that, but they're making an exception in my case. Oh. Well, and now, nice. you know, well, I'm just a little peeved that I was told that I would get that. Which was this? Uh, EMA. Where was it? Like, what was in it? In Edmonton. It was the transfer from my place where I live in Edmonton to the storage unit. Oh. And they said apparently they don't normally insure storage units, so... Really? Yeah. They just what? go... Because the storage units usually have their own policy or whatever? I, I don't know. Something like that. All yeah. I know is the insurance agent I dealt with didn't seem particularly useful, so... Oh, well. She probably got the information mixed up. She was incredibly loud, too. <laughs> had this oh. loud laugh. She'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> no, it'd be like... <clears throat> she'd be like... <clears throat> Like, 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 it's one for the ne next like video. There we go. <laughs> Except in that case, we'll notice you moving in real time and stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <coughs> you, she would say something, she'd be like, yeah, you want to make sure you get that? Nah. <laughs> it's like, so she laughed like Peter Griffin? <laughs> worse. <laughs> Far worse. Nah. <laughs> I was just happy I got an insurance agent that spoke English. Oh, really? <laughs> Thank you for calling. I help you. <laughs> Thank you for calling. My name is Abraham Lincoln. How can I help you today? <laughs> like, that's not your name. Well, they told us to pick American names. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe a little less American. <laughs> They're like, John Smith is good. <laughs> Do I have a George Bush? How can I help you? <laughs> Blowfish. <laughs> 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 or no. 
Thank you for calling us. Did I'm Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers? How can I help you? <laughs> Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm huge. Always send the news. <laughs> <laughs>